Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about your vision. Your eyes allow you to see the world around you. In fact, your eyes allow you to watch this video. But how do your eyes transfer the light energy into impulses that your brain can interpret? When rays of light bounce off an object like a dog, they first strike your eyes and pass through a structure known as the cornea. Your cornea is a clear membrane, much like a window, and covers the front of your eyes. As light passes through the cornea, it then passes through a fluid-filled chamber and reaches the pupil. The pupil is an opening through which light enters the eye. You may have noticed that in bright light the pupil is small, and in dark light the pupil is large. This is because the pupil is surrounded by a ring of muscle called the iris, and the iris regulates the amount of light entering the eye through the pupil. Your iris also gives the eye its color based on the amount of pigment it contains. As light passes through the pupil, it will strike the lens, which is convex in shape. Because of the way the lens of your eyes bends the light, the image it produces is upside down and reverse. Also, there are muscles attached to the lens that adjust its shape and allows the light to be in focus and clear. After passing through the lens, the light passes through a jelly-like fluid and reaches the back of the eye and onto a surface called the retina. The retina is filled with tiny receptors which are called rods and cones. There are over 130 million receptor cells, and there are two main types, rods and cones. Rods work best in dim light and allow you to see black and white. Cones, on the other hand, work best in bright light and enable you to see colors. There are three types of cones, red, green, and blue, and this allows you to see colors. After the light strikes the rods and cones, nerve impulses travel down the optic nerve to the occipital lobe of your brain. At the occipital lobe, the reversed image is turned right side up and it also combines the images of each eye to make one image. So there we go. This is how your eyes interpret light and transfer it to the brain, which allows you to see the world around you. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.